Welcome to part 14 of the bedroom drone build. There's a green light coming off the bottom of these motors. That means we've got power, but there's a few things we need to do before we can test fly. I need to add some more rigidity to the arms. You can see here, this arm moves a little ways. When there's water in the tank, I think this is gonna be a problem. Let's dive into it. Now, I got this like 10 pack of these funny little bungee cords at the hardware store for like $8, and I think these might work. Check this out. Bang, just like that, we've got this new bungee cord running from the battery holder here up to the arms. Uh, this way, I believe the weight of the tank will kind of shove the battery holder down and keep the arms down with it. I don't expect this to be the perfect solution. Uh, however, for the amount of time, I think this is better than nothing. That said, when I do test flight this and it cracks in half, uh, can't win them all, right? You might think to yourself, are these batteries held to this drone by an actual belt that you would use with a pair of jeans? you'd be correct. I'm gonna test it out here with the controller. Let's see what happens. That worked pretty remarkably. Now there's no propellers on right now, thankfully, or else I would be chopped in half, but this is promising.